what's good ladies and gents boys and girls how you all doing it's your boy gns mole back again with yet another video now um today is going to be a somewhat kind of podcast vibe or a news channel kind of vibe we're going to talk about you know i'm, I'm going to talk about my opinions on the state of that is well, mainly Jake Paul. We're going to get on to him. But first, let's talk about his brother. Someone who I actually have a modicum of respect for. Logan Paul. Logan. Congratulations, my friend. You have gone and done it. Done it respectfully. You called him out. Did this. That was it. You did it respectfully. You did it the right way. To call out someone. Like Floyd Mayweather. And, f and for that, I put my, hold my hand up and I say, well done. Do I think you're going to get killed? Absolutely. Do I think you're going to get dismantled? Without a doubt. <laughs> the amount of weight he's going to have to lose for this fight. Oh, it's going to be nutty. <laughs> People don't realise how much weight difference means in boxing or in fighting. Weight categories mean a fuck ton. Logan's going to have to lose like 60 pounds or something, if not more, to meet Floyd's, uh, to meet Floyd's weight. Which is stupid. And when you do lose a lot of weight, it fucks you up with your power. Yeah, I, I know it's a super expedition fight, but... What do I expect to happen? Floyd to just tease him, play with him, dismantle him, embarrass him. Do I think Logan's going to get a few hits in there? Maybe a couple. I think he's going to hit him a couple of times. Do I think he's going to absolutely demolish him? No, because the power deformative he's going to have is going to be mad. And he could lose, he lose his gasket a lot quicker than what he did against KSI. So to that, Logan, I give you my respect because you've gone and done bits here and you've got to fight with one of the greatest boxers of all time, especially from this generation. So for that, congrats. Now, let's go and talk about his dickhead little brother that I like to call Pussy Jake Paul. <laughs> this boy, this boy here, this, this, this guy, this guy, okay. Um, first things first. His fight against Nate Robinson was a fucking joke. It was embarrassing. Nate didn't have any training. He had three months of a training camp. He did fuck all sparring. He did spar once. And whilst he's fighting Jake, do you know what he's doing? He's running into him trying to rugby tackle him. When Jake's trying to throw a punch, what's this dickhead doing? He's running into him. When Jake's throwing a punch, do you want to know why he's getting knocked out? Because he's running. He's charging at him. You don't do that in boxing. You don't do them things. Do you want to die? There's a reason to why the knockout was as devastating as it looked. It was because he fucking charged at him. To when Jake was finna knock him out. I'm like... How could you be that brain dead? Jake is very good at picking opponents that are shit. He tried to do it with Fuzzy Tube. I'm sure he tried to do it with someone else. He also tried, uh, and that he, that's why he kept trying to duck Gib because he knew that Gib could have given him a good fight. But unfortunately, everybody was too busy gassing Gib up, and basically, Gib, well, the pressure got to him and he crumbled. It's a fact. He's even said it himself. The lights, everything, got to him. That's why he lost. Because he couldn't hack at the pressure. Now, we're going to talk about what Jake's been done, doing, what he said, what he's been saying. First things first. This boy thinks he can fight and knock out two of the UFC's greatest fighters of all time. Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. Guy's a clown. <laughs> this dickhead. Oh, I'm 
Why you did me? Oh, Nelly. Oh, you really think that you could go up against Conor McGregor and hit me as a knuckle now? Are you brain dead? Are you brain dead? You will be after you do, if you eventually do fight one of them. Oh, Nelly. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. This boy. What is he playing at? Like, I give respect to Logan, but do I think he's got any chance? Hell to the no. <laughs> he's asking for Conor McGregor. He's calling out Dana White. I'm like, are you wanting to die? He's now apparently got the Irish mob wanting to come after him. I'm like, please fucking have him. <laughs> this fucking idiot. But the one thing I'm not going to laugh at is this dickhead. Um, basically, saying shit about another man's woman. Jake, you are a grade A cunt. You never, ever, 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 ever disrespect a man's woman or wife. You never do that. Why? Why have you said those things? I, you're a fucking disgusting pig. And I hope karma hits you so hard that it knocks your fucking head off. How dare you? You can go after Connor and Dana all you want. Don't bring a man's woman in it. Why? I'm the only person in this situation that you're following is McGregor's wife. You cunt. What are you thinking? What are you playing at? Do you think you're being funny? Do you think you're being hard? Also, seeing someone in the streets of LA that is close to McGregor, throwing shit at him when your boyfriends are with you in a car to the wing, they can't start to run towards you to come and knock the shit out of you. What do you get your boyfriends to do? You get them to drive off. Do you want to know how much of a pussy that makes you look? How about you let your fucking two hands do the talking? If that guy's coming at, running at you, get out that car, get out of it, and try and hit him. Oh wait, you'd probably get killed. Like, it's, it's so funny how you think that you, this guy thinks he's really good at boxing. Little thing for you all to know. He's really not. He's shit. Or, I will actually give him the benefit of the doubt. He's actually okay. Do I think Logan's a bit better? Technically, yes. Would Jake land a punch on Conor McGregor? Fuck no. Conor would dis... Destroy him in the first round. He wouldn't even need USC. He wouldn't need submissions. Just one big left hook, that's it. Good night. See you later. Like, Jake, you really think the world revolves around you and the world gives a shit about what you have to say. If they don't, I'll give you credit and your brother credit because you know how to keep people talking about you and having their your names in their mouths and other people's mouths. You see, I don't watch your content because you are extremely cringe fast worthy and you're boring to watch, in my honest opinion. I don't like watching most American content creators. It's nothing against them. Some, some of them I just don't enjoy watching. That's why I prefer to watch uh, British, uh, British YouTubers. But that's because I have similar humour to them. And I understand their humour. And that's why Americans tend to watch British YouTubers more. We, we found that out when KSI went up against Logan. The predominant of the crowd was mainly KSI's. KSI fans. Logan barely had any fans, if not any. And Jake tries to say he's the A-side and KSI's dodging him. No, he's not. We're in the middle of a pandemic. And what does this... Dickhead, do after he wins a fight. He has a massive party with like over a hundred people. Are you fucking brain dead? Your country is in a pandemic. The whole world's in a fucking pandemic with a deadly virus spreading round, and you're having a fucking party with over a hundred people going. Guess what happened there as well, folks? This guy who was there got beat up by Jake's boyfriends. Not just one of them, a group of them. Yeah. They're hard, aren't they? Like, Jake, you really think that the world gives a shit? 
Honestly, I all I've seen on my news feeds of Twitter and Facebook and Instagram is just calling you a fucking wet wipe. Like, what is this boy doing? What is this guy? Who is he? No one really gives a shit about you anymore, Jake. And I don't think many people did give a shit about you in the first place. Especially here in the UK. We just thought that you were a bit of a dick. And it proves to be that you were a bit of a dick. Now, I try to show respect to everybody. You know, I try to show love and I try to show respect. But when this guy disrespects another man's wife... No, 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 no. You deserve a fucking punch into the throat. You do not do that. You don't do that, folks. If you're wanting to go after a man, you get after him. Nobody else. Him. You can go after him all you want. But as soon as you bring a, the woman that they are with, the woman that they love, and they happen to be married, that's his wife, and also the mother to his children. What do you think's going to happen? I'm no surprise that fucking the Irish man want to come after you. You don't disrespect another man's wife. You don't do that. Like, I would never in my right mind, if I had beef with a guy, I wouldn't go after his missus. That's a pussy move. And it's ultra disrespectful. You don't target a man's wife. Because let's be honest, Jake, you wish you could have a woman as amazing as Conor McGregor's wife. You wish you could. But your wife, your wife is faker than a tits. Like the whole marriage thing with Tana, whatever her name is. Her content's worse than yours. And that's saying something. But what was the whole thing that she did a couple of years ago? Was it Tanacon or whatever? Because they had VidCon, didn't they? Or was it Tanacon and it was shit? <laughs> Shock. Like, oh, this boy. This, the thing is, Jay, people aren't laughing with you. They're laughing at you. I've had that before. People used to laugh at me a lot. But nowadays, I try and get people laughing with me. And a lot of people do laugh with me. So people still try and laugh at me. But there's a difference between some people laughing at you and everybody laughing at you. Do you want to know why everybody's laughing at you, Jake? Even everybody on YouTube. Do you want to know why that is? It's because you're acting like a fucking idiot. You're acting like a little boy. He's going to be shown what it's like to be a man. If Dana White even dares things to give you the fight with Conor McGregor, we'll, we should be getting ready for Logan. I better not finish that sentence. But, yeah, your family should be arranging your funeral. Let's just say that. You can't do the shit that you've been saying. You can't do all that. You can't. I'm more than, I'm, I'm more than okay for you to go after the, you know, Connor. You can... Hammering on, on Dana. Fucking do it. I couldn't give a shit. But you never go after another man's wife. But the best thing about this. Is that you don't realise how embarrassing this is. Like you're not just making yourself look bad. You're making YouTube look bad. Like you said you wanted to get away from YouTube. YouTube. Fucking leave then. You don't want to do YouTube anymore. You don't want to be a YouTuber. Fuck off. That's plain and simple. We don't want to do this thing anymore. Leave. But you know why you will never leave, Jake? It's because you are so greedy with money. That's why you'll never leave. And you've got a deluded fan base thinking that you're a fucking godlike person. You're not. You're an idiot. You're an idiot that seems to try to copy KSI when he had a somewhat god complex. And let's not forget, you were once upon a time a KSI fan. Yeah. Like, it's just hilarious seeing this boy say all this shit. You can go after a man, yeah, fair enough, you've got beef with him or you're calling him out for a fight. You don't go after a man's wife. Simple as. I mean, it's, it's just baffling that he thinks he's got a chance of getting this fight. 
with Nair or Connor, you've got no chance. Like when Dane is saying that you can fight Nunez, I think he said, I fucking spat my tea out. I was like, <laughs> ah! she'd kill him. <laughs> it's just fucking, it, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Like, I will always have a, mo a modicum of respect for both Jake and Logan. The businessmen, they're fantastic. They're always amazing at keep, keeping people having their names in their mouths and on their mind. They're very good at that. They're very intelligent with that. Do I think they're very talented? Jake, I don't think he's a very talented person when it comes to rapping and etc. Because he had to steal somebody else's floor and get a ghostwriter. Logan actually can sing a little bit. Logan can sing a little bit. And he, rapping, not as much. He's, he, he, he's, nah. But singing, I've heard him sing. He's actually not horrific. He can hold a note. A little bit of, um, a little bit of vocal coaching training. He could be a decent little singer. He could be. Jake, on the other hand, I've not heard him sing. He steals somebody else's floor. He has a ghostwriter. You can't call yourself talented in music if you're having to use another floor that's not your own and get a ghostwriter to write your lyrics for you. I loved how he tried to get out of that as well, saying that uh, we worked on the song. He was on about Fresh Out of London. And then Mike literally said, did you write it? Because he had me and one friend. That means Jake did about 5% of the writing and the other friend, which was designer, wrote the rest of the fucking song. You idiot. Like, oh, Neil. But this guy thinks he can fight Conor McGregor, one of the best champions of all time in UFC history. Boy, you're about to get killed. If Dana White either ever deems you worthy to fight him. Which he never would. He would never allow Connor to fight a child like yourself. Hopefully one day you get humbled by someone, something. Please, Lord, let it happen soon. But that is where we're going to leave it for today, folks. Please, get in the comment, se comment section. And please, let me know of your opinions on this whole Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul and this Jake Paul fiasco over in the US because it'll be interesting to see what you guys have to say I mean the GNS clan boys I've actually been speaking to they cannot stand Jake Paul they think he's an idiot but that's going to be it for me today folks I will catch you all next time this has been your boy GNS Mo see ya, take care and I'm always waiting for you